uh, common sort of attacks when you get into any kind of street brawl or street scrap, and that's the good old headlock. Um, well, so many guys are just like, look, the you see for this one. So many guys just want to yoke you up right here, and now they're going to start firing shots into your head. YouTube or Google, any sort of street fight, you're going to see something that looks like that. Um, since Steve's a big beefcake, I figure I mean, he'd be a good one for this. So we get into whatever kind of scrap, and he's just going to attach to me. Get me in one of those things and bring me down. First thing you want to do is I want to turn my head into him. Because if I, if I try to pull away, it's going to expose the choke, which is a bad day in that rock. But if I turn in, I don't have too much to worry about in terms of choke because only half of my neck is exposed. So it's going to be uncomfortable and it might be painful, but I'm not going to have to really worry about my airway being cut off. Uh, at the same time, I want to get my hand up here because if he starts firing at this, I'm not going to really end up blocking. Like, look, they can throw a shot or something. But it's going to take some of the sting off of that. So I'm not thinking about, you know, any kind of Bruce Leroy type bullshit where I'm going to grab his foot, grab his fist, but I just want to get something in, in between my face and that fist. Um, I see a lot of stuff with headlocks and involves, you know, this, which I do enjoy getting, you know, this point here, but I don't want to worry about trying to find a specific point on his head that I'm going to dig a finger into. Um, I've seen things where it says grab the hair. That's not going to work too well on a guy like Steve. So all I want you to do is think about that eye is get your hand up here and get your finger in his eye because the body does not like anything touching the eye. So once I pull off this way, he's naturally going to go that way because he doesn't want, he doesn't want whatever I got going on over here. Okay, so he pulls me down into this. Boom, right there, take his eye. As soon as that happens, you see the gap that's, that's created right here? That's my, my way out. I just sneak out the back door and I can just come up, hit, and I'm behind and I can do whatever I need to do. Headlock, it seems scary, but once you realize your different avenues, a lot of, there's a lot of ways out of it. One more thing I want to show you, we can go right from this side, Steve. So right here, in here, boom, maybe Steve's just a big tough bastard, and I get my finger in his eye right here, and he doesn't break too much. Well, if you look at my, fit, my foot positioning, I'm in a fantastic position, because all I need to do is I slam into that, and it buckles him. And now I'm still out. So, those are your two ways out. One more, just one more time. Great. Get my hand up here, I take the eye. If that works, great. If it doesn't, if he's, you know, maybe he's coked up or something, or he's just a lot stronger than me, or he's a big guy and I need to break him down a little bit, I'm just gonna take my knee and slam it in the hollow of the back of his knee and just kind of buckle him a little bit. I can fire up into there and just start railing on him.